Everybody, I made a video a while back and I was saying the easiest place for a black man to get some pussy is at a Baptist church or a church in general. You know, a black church, you gotta go to a black church, a black holy roly church, a holy roly church where they be jamming off the music and you know, they be singing their asses off and shit and the music be sounding good. That's the best, and they be getting the Holy Ghost and shit like that. That's the best church to go to to find a woman. And like I was telling this female today in Starbucks, and um, we started talking about religion and shit like that. You know, black lady, black lady and a black guy. And we talking about religion, and I was saying how religion is a hustle, and how like people know it, the powers that be know. And we were saying a good way to tell you in a bad neighborhood is when you see a lot of churches. And then I went on to tell her, and I was saying like, what these black pastors are doing is they're fucking black people over. I said, because religion is the opium for the poor, and they know it. And I said, when I was telling her, and I was saying, if I'm, if I'm lying to you, and I know I'm lying to you, that means I hate you. Because I, like I told her, I said lying to a person is more provocative than hate. So if I'm lying to you, that's me basically saying I hate you. So if these pastors, all of them, if they know all of them, these pastors, these ministers, these reverends, they know that religion is bullshit. But they don't do anything to help the people. All they care about is how much money you can pay in your tithes and your donations and shit like that. And like I was telling, I said, if your church is, I said, go to church broke a couple of weeks and stop paying your tithes and you'll see how much the church loves your fellowship. But back to what I was saying is like, if they lying to you, that means they hate you. Lying to a person is more provocative than hate. But that's when I got onto the subject about talking about women. I said, now if I go, if I, you know, like, if I go to, if I meet a woman, if I meet a female, and she brings up the subject about religion, and I listen to her, and I listen to the shit she say, and if she's telling me she loves the Lord and all that other shit, I'm like, bet, I'm going to go along with her and not disagree with her, and I can get anything I want from her. It's like me robbing the bank. I can go along to get along. But, if I speak honestly to her and tell her that my religion is not my, religion is not my thing, then she'll start calling me hateful and mean and bitter and shit like that. And like I always say, people call you bitter when you tell them the truth. But when you lie to them, they say you're a nice person. Like I was saying before, like like if you speak, if you if you t tell them the truth, they'll call you bitter. But if you lie to them and they know you lied, then they say it's not for me to judge you. But they were judging me when they was calling me bitter. So that's why most people that go to church is full of shit. And like I was saying before, if you ever want to get some pussy, if you ever need a fellas, if you ever need a girlfriend, and, and you need a girlfriend, don't go to a club. Shine your shoes, get you a haircut, put you on a nice suit, put on some cologne, and stuff a tube down your tube sock down your pants and go to church. And you'll come out, I guarantee you, you'll come out of church with a female. Because anybody that sit and listen to that dumb shit, they'll believe anything you tell them. Trust me.